this is quite interesting. I have to say this took a while to arrive. Um, I'd kind of almost kind of given up on it and then it turned up. But it's a, a standard sort of three watt LED driver type package. But this one claims to be a regulated five volt supply, rated three watts, putting out about 600 milliamps. So um, the data sheet for it, I'll just put that one out of the way. Or should I say the eBay listing? Uh, it came from a supplier called Heronio 2012, and it says precise 600 milliamp 5 volt isolating switch LED lamp AC DC 220 to 5 to 12 volt power supply module. Now the 5 to 12 bit's a bit odd. I wondered if I don't. I thought initially, does this put out two voltages, or was there supposed to be an option for the 12 volt or 5 volt one? But this is just uh, apparently the 5 volt one. Well, I hope it is. I'll find out when I test it. And quite pleasingly, um, in the specification, um, it says it's got a power supply, has a temperature protection, overcurrent protection, short circuit protection, AC 85 to 265 wide input range, and it's got a 5 volt precision regulator. But really, one of the nicest bits here, it says input voltage, AC uh, 85 to 265, 50, 60 hertz, or DC 100 volts to 370 volts. It's nice to have the DC rating put on the input uh, supply. And they do quote other random things like um, environment 25 degrees centigrade under 80% load, mean time between failure more than 16,000 hours. So, um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at, look at it. Actually, you know, let's test it. Let's uh, plug this in. Now, I'm guessing that the... Red wires are mains in and red and black is like uh, the DC out. Uh, if it's not, it's going to make a bit of a bang and suddenly the video is going to end quite abruptly with a lot of skid mark on my table. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Well, it might be. Who knows? So once again, I'm going to be using this uh, device here, which is a quick test. People, every time I bring this into shot, people ask what it is. It's a kind of European power supply, uh, just a means to connect the mains cables easily under these uh, piano sort of keys. They don't really, uh, I don't think they do a, a, an American version, it just seems to be something restricted to Europe for some reason. So um, let's uh, plug this in. Quite handy for uh, connecting stuff up in workshops, for testing things, not as a common connection device, not as an alternative to a plug. So. Uh, that's a good start, it didn't go bang. So um, let's uh, set this to 20 volts. Hopefully it is isolated. I'm, I'm, I'll just uh, touch one of these wires. I'm not gonna to touch the other one until I've ascertained it is isolated inside. 5.07, right, let's give it the short circuit test, shall we? I heard it spark. Is the output still on? Is it shut down or is it uh, still active? It's still active and there's the 5 volts still. That's good. Right, well let's uh, open it up. So uh, any guesses what's inside? I'm wondering if they've just used similar circuitry to the, you know, like the little bright power chips for the LED drivers. I think they may just have adapted the circuitry a wee bit to make a power supply. On the other hand, the first thing I'm seeing here... Let's discharge capacitors. Where's the... that's the main side there, so let's uh, just... Uh, okay. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. Um, let's uh, turn the intensity up just a wee tad. Okay. I'm seeing uh, an 8-pin chip. Well, I say an 8-pin chip. It's got 6 pins. It's got 4 down one side and 2 the other. Is this a wee dedicated switch mode chip? On the input side, I'm seeing a bridge rectifier. The smoothing capacitor, which is rated 4.7 micro microfarad 400 volt, which is very common. Another little uh, electrolytic, which does allude to this being a switch mode power supply, especially when it's got that wee diode to actually pump this electrolytic to actually provide power to this. This looks like the typical snubber network uh, you'd find um, with this diode across um, the primary of the transformer in the switch mode. 
So let's uh, see if we can find some numbers. The little chip is a THX208. Right, THX. Uh, that's a switch mode chip. I'm really sure it's a switch mode chip. And is this a little opto isolator? It's a 356T. Yes, that is a standard transistor opto isolator. So that makes me wonder. Does this have a... Oh, I, I do see something that looks as though it could be. Oh, actually, I can't even read that. But I've got a feeling... Oh, no, that's a diode. I wonder what they're using as the voltage reference. This looks like an LED out here. I wonder if they're using uh, one of the little... Um, Voltage reference chips, which that might actually be one of those little voltage reference chips programmable right by resistors to actually set the threshold at the exact five volts. Oh, unless that's a super precise five volt uh, reference diode. It's very close to the opto isolator. It does suggest it's tied into the sort of voltage reference, and I don't see an awful lot of components here. I can't fold this up too much because this diode is like soldered right down hard against the circuit board. Is that a wee LED? The only way to find out is to power it up while it's open. So out comes the quick test again. I wonder if there's a regulation that stops uh, the company that makes these. I think it's a British company. Uh, I wonder if there's anything that stops them supplying them to America. Maybe tighter regulations regarding stuff. Because um, you can do some terrible things with this. You, if you... When these were all the rage, they used to use them in garages and things like that instead of plugs for power tools, and they used to just stuff the wires in. If all the wires got all grubby and they stuck the wrong wires in, if they stuck the earth wire of the appliance into the live pin accident, the live terminal accidentally, then the whole tool became live. So, uh, you know, they're really intended for professional use only. So um, maybe that's why they're more restrictive. It's got a little red LED. That's quite nice. So this is a little, proper little... Um, well, I say 3 watt, I, I will take it for granted that this probably is 3 watt given its size. But um, it seems to be a proper little uh, 5 volt power supply. I'll hold it up so you can give you a look at the circuit board. Yeah, that's quite neat actually. Oh, I isolation. Let's uh, short that capacitor again. Let's check the isolation in here. Okay, isolation is... Visually, isolation. There's no, um, there's no cl class Y capacitor across this. I notice for a start, but that tends to be used mainly in stuff that's got the. Oh no, I, I'm not 100 percent sure why they're not using that. Maybe it's a lower frequency output. This puts I'm not 100 percent sure, but the there's not an anti-tracking slot or anything. But I'd say the clearance between the main side to the low voltage side is about three millimeters across there. So not super mega, but you know for for. A uh, five volt application that it was fairly shrouded away from touch. Um, it's going to be quite useful as a sort of you know a, like a dedicated electronic power supply for something, but as a, not something that's actually going to be exposed to uh, people actually handling it. So yeah, that's quite interesting. It's quite neat. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting just a variant in the the lamp drivers, but just butchered up to turn it into a power supply. But this does appear to be a full on little switch mode power supply in a very small package. 